Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your best life in Jesus Christ. Well, as many of you know, Landry is now in preschool. Well, at least online preschool. So every morning at 8.30, Landry, Nana, and Pop-Pop are logged in for a live conference with Miss Kathy to have circle time, where she is introducing them to the basics of reading and so forth, writing, and, and mixed in with a bunch of exercise to keep the students awake and hopefully attentive. And then there are assignments online for Landry to do during the week, such as writing his name and coloring and so forth. And it's really kind of cute. Well, anyway, this week we all learned about signs, starting with the stop sign and then followed by the exit sign. Then they were given an assignment to look for signs when riding in the car around the neighborhood. Uh, so they were given this paper that she called a sign bingo to do in the car. And it's pretty cool stuff for a four going on five-year-old. Well, anyway, most of this week has been spent asking Landry to point out signs he sees so that we can write them down. And it's actually pretty interesting seeing Landry discover signs that we see every day and I pretty much ignore, and probably so do you. However, yesterday Landry decreed that this was boring. By the way, boring is the worst thing in the world to him. And he stopped looking for signs. He said, I've seen them all and I know what they say. <laughs> when he said this, I had to laugh because sometimes I think we Christians are the same way. You see, every day we're presented with more and more signs that Christ is coming back soon. And if we're not careful, we just willfully ignore them. We kind of take for granted that Jesus is coming back again, but we really stop looking for him. We've heard all our lives about his glorious returning, but we become rather blasé. We're busy looking at other things in our lives and figuring that, well, we're kind of developing an attitude like a preschool. We start saying in our minds, well, been there, done that, it's boring. Well, this morning, let me reassure you, whether we're looking or not, the signs for Christ's return are all about us, and He is coming back. Praise the Lord. Christ is very specific in the scriptures that we're not to become bored and blasé, but to be continually aware of the signs that we're given so that we might be prepared for His imminent return. And it is indeed imminent. He expects us to be awake. He expects us to be aware. In Matthew 16, 1 through 4, the Pharisees and Sadducees asked Jesus for a sign from heaven, and Jesus rebukes them rather soundly for their inability to see the signs of the times. Yet we see the same reminders today. They scream at us from the front page of our newspaper, from Facebook, from our television screens, and in events that take place all around the world. There are signs that are being fulfilled, signs that are saying to us repeatedly, Jesus is coming again. And frankly, we need to wake up and pay attention. <laughs> In Luke 21, 10 and 11, it reminds us that in those times, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven. How can we look at the current state of the world around us, especially with the current COVID-19 pandemic, and not be absolutely sure that Christ's return is literally the next thing on his agenda? <laughs> All of the signs Jesus spoke of are to remind us are to be ready. Uh, Jesus said in Luke 17, 26 through 30, that prior to his return, the conditions on earth would be like they were in the days of Lot and Noah. Well, let's look at that. If we look at Lot's time, he was, of course, an inhabitant of the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, places that were known for their excessive wickedness and specifically for their sexual perversion. Noah's time was characterized by exceedingly wicked violence and crime. Describing the time of Noah, Genesis 6-5 says, Then the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Wow. Is it just me, or is that not an accurate description of our time right now? Luke 21, 28 tells us, When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. I don't know about you, but I certainly don't want to be caught unaware when Jesus steps out of the clouds to call us home. 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, the same way Landry has his signs bingo, we have ours. And I don't know about you, but my signs bingo card is full. So let's look up. Our redemption draws near. I, for one, can hardly wait. Even so, come quickly, Lord. So let's not forget when we're going through our day to not, we don't want to ignore the signs that we see around us and pray. Say, hey, Lord, even so. Come quickly. We're waiting. I hope you make today a terrific day, and I want you to know that I'm here if you need me. I love you all.